It is January the 9th, and this is the last in the four-day series of ice growth tests that we've been doing in the North End since we've had the new ice. We've had excellent ice growth for three days, but the main lake still remains stubborn. 30 to 40 kilometer hour north or northwest winds almost 24 hours a day has certainly made it difficult for the main body to freeze. But even so, the bay ice is starting to inch out and eventually it'll close in one quiet night and will surely put a cap on the lake. And according to the forecast, that's exactly what we're going to get. So I tested for the fourth day in a row and here's what I found. It is January the 9th, which means it's Thursday, and we're in the same proximate location that we've been testing the ice to see how the ice is growing. Uh, we still have some open water, uh, but we're far enough away from that that it's reasonably safe anyway to do the test. So we left it yesterday. We had uh, three and three quarter inches approximately. So we're going to see how much ice grew overnight and how it's looking for the weekend. This new ice is the same, uh, went in at the same time as all the other bays I did in the aerial videos in the last uh, few videos. So it should be approximately the same. Again, there's going to be some differences where there's current and so on, but overall this new ice is going to be about the same. There's open water again over there. Stay away from that. So far, we still have a north wind, so it's blowing down the lake. I suspect it's causing havoc down there. But uh, up here, it's not too bad where I am. If I stepped out uh, uh, in the exposed area there, it's howling pretty good. You want to stay away from there. And if the wind changes to the south with any velocity at all, get off the ice. And as you can see, I'm in a full floater suit when I'm doing this here now because I don't trust not being in the full floater suit. Uh, this is my clam ascend new one. So let's drill a hole and see what we got. Oh, wow. So it sure looks like we've made some more ice, and we'll see how much that is. Beautiful black ice, and crystal clear water too. So we have, I have five inches, maybe a little bit more, five and a quarter inches. So we're making ice. So that's at least an inch and a quarter. I really have five and a quarter inches. So we made an inch and a half ice last night, but it was the coldest night, that's for sure. Yeah, just a little over five inches. Again, the water is receding. It doesn't bounce at all when I walk near it. It's pretty solid ice. We've got a little over five inches. So this is the last of the uh, north end ice testing on the new ice. Just to give you an idea of what it's going to be like on the weekend, we're going to make some more ice tonight. Things are firming up pretty good, but again, there's open water, and in all the bays down the north side and down the east side, there's open water adjacent to it. Some of it's a few hundred yards, some of it's a quarter of a mile, but um, still, if we get a strong south wind, a strong southwest wind, it can break this ice up still. Again, pretty solid. So... I hope you're having a great weekend uh, plan for fishing. Uh, stay safe. Uh, watch the aerial videos to see where the lines are of the new ice. Stay well within that. And um, good luck out there. Stay safe.